How do neurons communicate? On a normal day, a person says 20,000 words. We say hello, thank you, have a nice day, and so much more. Did you know brain cells also talk to each other? From picking up a cup of juice to kicking a soccer ball, your brain cells have a lot of talking to do. Wait a second, what are brain cells? Brain cells are the building blocks of the brain. The brain cells that do the talking are called neurons. Like other cells in the body, neurons are very, very small and can only be seen under a microscope. This means that to send a message from one part of your brain to another part of your brain, or all the way down to your body, brain cells need a fast way to talk to each other. Check out the Brain Reach North activity, What Are Brains Made Of? for more about what makes up a neuron. There are three main parts of a neuron, the cell body, the dendrites, and the axon. With all of their dendrites and one long axon, neurons look like tiny trees in our brains. Each of these parts of the neuron are really important for communication. They communicate by sending signals to each other, like talking on the telephone. Axons need the signals that are picked up by dendrites of a neighboring neuron, which then can be passed the signal onto its neighbor. Dendrites can branch into receiving signals from other neurons. When many neighboring neurons are communicating with each other, we call this a neuronal network. Your class can even try making a neuronal network of your own. Check out our activity video for a demo. How fast can your neuronal network send signals? Did you experiment how fast your neuronal network can talk? Let us know how it went. When neurons want to send a signal, they don't pick up the telephone or squeeze each other's hands like we did in our activity. So, how do you think neurons communicate with each other in the brain? They use chemical and electrical signals to talk to each other. A neuron sends an electrical message down its axon, like electricity passing through a wire, which then releases chemical molecules that travel from its tip to be picked up by a neighboring neuron at its dendrites. Now the message can travel through this axon just like before. The brain has about 100 billion neurons. That is one followed by 11 zeros. There are more neurons in the brain than there are stars in the Milky Way galaxy. Just imagine all that is going on in your head right now. So where do all these neurons send their signals? Well, Neurons send signals within our brain and spinal cord. They go from the brain to the body to allow us to do everything from picking up a cup of juice to kicking a soccer ball. They also go from the body back to the brain to give us information about the world around us, like tasting the juice or seeing the ball coming our way. Check out the Brain Reach North activity, The Senses, for more about how your brain gets information from the world around you. The longest axon in the human body goes from the bottom of your spinal cord all the way to your big toe. In adults, that's about one meter. Neurons talking to each other let us see leaves change color in the fall, taste a yummy meal, dance to our favorite song, and so much more. When neurons communicate, amazing things happen.